Hi, everybody. Adele McLean with Holden Advisors. Happy 2018. Hope your year is off to a great start. We're excited here at Holden Advisors for a lot of reasons, but really importantly, this year celebrates the 10-year anniversary of our book, Pricing with Confidence, 10 Ways to Stop Leaving Money on the Table. And in celebration of that anniversary, we're going to do a multi-part um, blog, video blog series. And we'll have a special guest at the end that's going to come in and wrap it up and tell us what's changed and what hasn't changed in 10 years pricing. And we'd love for you to follow along um, as we go through each one of the rules. So without further ado, let's jump in. Um, the intro of the book, Pricing with Confidence, um, asks a very important question. But why is pricing so difficult? And why do so many companies get it wrong? Well, I think it probably comes down to we're not very clear as organizations on our pricing purpose. So let's just think as we start thinking about 10 rules to stop leaving money on the table and about the ways that we can improve our pricing. What are some of those uh, pricing purposes we hear in our organizations, our big organizations? One that we hear a lot is price to cover cost. And um, I think the biggest problem with that is that customers don't care about your cost and they'll gladly tell you so in a negotiation. More importantly, however, is when you um, price to cover cost, you leave the value you deliver to your customer's P&L um, unaccounted for. And what that means is that you could price too low and leave money on the table for the value you deliver. Or in some cases, if your price is out of line and, and you've got a cost structure that's not competitive, you could price too high um, for your customer and not deliver that value to their P&L and thus not be able to close the deal with them. So I think price to cover cost is um, a very basic form of pricing uh, purpose and one that we should expand upon as price practitioners. The second one we might hear a lot about is price to market. The biggest problem with pricing to market is that we sell to customers, not markets. And customers use our products in very unique ways. Now, we've been told we're commodities a lot. And just because we're told we're a commodity, which is a procurement tactic, does not mean we're a commodity. So pricing to markets might leave money on the table as well because we might actually deliver more value to the customer's P&L than we might price to market. So let's dig a little deeper and figure out if we can um, actually quantify the impact we deliver to our customer's P&L and make that part of our pricing purpose. The next one that I, I hear a lot in organizations, particularly ones that, that um, are uh, trying to do a turnaround or trying to grow, is we say, let's price to close the deal. And the biggest problem with that is that we um, create poker players out of our customers because we completely leave the value we deliver to the customer's P&L off the table when we're so anxious to close a deal. So I'll call that a fool's game. You will continue to have that same quarter in, year in practice with your customer because they know it's more important to close the deal than to quantify the value you deliver to them and include it in your price. And then finally, um, what we might hear a lot, which I can, I can buy into, is less price to grow revenue. And I'm really good with that, as long as we balance that with profit. Because just growing revenue alone does not give us the money to reinvest and innovate as companies. So when we think about pricing purpose, price to grow revenue is a good one, as long as we're balancing it with profit. Now, why is pricing so hard and why do so many companies mess it up? Well, typically, you'll hear at least two or three or maybe all of those different pricing purposes in your organization. So the number one thing we need to do as we start to think about our pricing practice is to organize and align the, the company around a true pricing purpose, which is to make profit. All right. So without uh, belaboring the why is it so hard and why do most companies uh, get pricing wrong, let's jump off and start to talk about all the rules of engagement and the 10 rules to stop leaving money on the table. So I'll see you next time. I'll be doing another couple of blogs and the rest of my colleagues will jump in as well. So enjoy. Talk to you later.